Oh, yeah, here we go. Is this you? Yeah, this is the Super Bowl commercial. You're in a Super Bowl ad? Oh, yeah. That's sick. All right, who's, who's introing us? Formal. Oh! Already said none of it. And you were late, so you have to. Okay, well, that's a low blow, because there was, there was literally... Fuck yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Optic Podcast, episode 161. We do not have Hector here today. He is in Tokyo. Yeah, what's he doing there? I saw him tweet that out. I think he's just he's vacation. going on a vacation. Really? Yeah, he's, he, he said this is his first vacation. He took uh, Liv and Jude. I, I hope he said all this. I don't know why he would hide it. But yeah, he took Liv and Jude. They're in uh, Japan right now. Yeah, that's cool. That shit is lit. I mean, that's... That's somewhere I've always wanted to visit. Same. That's on my bucket list of visiting, so. Same. Iz isn't home. Iz is gone for a week. I can't say where, but Iz is gone for a full week. So I've had the house to myself. Oh, yeah. Taking care of the pups. By the way, you want to know something? Figure I'd get this off my chest now. <laughs> um, <laughs> I accidentally exposed where your wedding was going to be. But luckily, my friends have zero viewers. I was like, yeah, I'm going to so and so. Oh, you're so, streaming. I'm like, oh, y'all are streaming. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. Okay, well now they're gonna go look for it. Well, what do you mean? They wouldn't know. Should I not? Well, they're gonna know now. I didn't. No, I mean, it's okay. It's okay. I, I don't know. Like, it, like I don't tell people, but it's like, do people care? Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's not. It's not that secret. I just don't want like. Yeah, everyone yeah, to yeah. Know. So, but yeah, she's she's not here right now. She's uh she's over there. I've been had the house to myself for two days. It's been a little bit weird. I've had to cook my own meals, let the dogs out on my own. Sitting on your phone watching Drake videos. Yeah, that <laughs> <laughs> I mean By I wasn't even I was laying. I was I was laying in bed when I saw it. I was <laughs> I literally had just woke up. I mean, Did I not look at it? Is it that it's is just it him laying his, in bed, flopping his cocker around. Oh, he's playing what? with it. Yeah, he's, he's playing with it. Yeah. Oh, Don't I didn't know he was like playing with it. You haven't seen it. I haven't. <laughs> Don't I act. Swear. You've seen it. I saw it. Yeah, I know. I looked for it. It just came out. <laughs> <laughs> I searched. I was in the car. <laughs> And then I, I saw on Instagram, like, don't look why Drake is. And then I just, like scrolled through the images and it had like <laughs> a people's reactions. So and you I have the content. Seen, no, I, no, Capper. I didn't see the actual Capper. video. I saw the people's news about that. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I wasn't expecting to wake up to that. Uh, I kind of got my for you page. I mean, you never know what's going to pop up. It's fucking, nuts, we, were, we were just talking about it. You could have cocks, butts, beheadings, beheadings, everything, sh- porno, shootings, fucking. Shit. Anything can yeah. be on the for you page. That's why I, I usually am not on it. But today I woke up. And but it was we'll, like, we'll oh. just when I when that update came out when it, first, it usually just puts you on the for you page when That's you go I'm on saying. Twitter and then like you're like oh shit I'm not even on my following yeah. like mm-hmm. and you go to the following and you're like jeez this is like more normal yeah way <laughs> more normal but yeah uh, a lot of shit's been happening uh, just. On the internet, I mean, Drake's dong's been leaked. We've got yeah, Aiden have, Ross and go ahead. Let me ask you this, Will. What you think about the Apple Vision Pros? Oh, I think it's fucking sick. You I think get them? No, I didn't get them yet. But Will you I don't even know if I'll get that. But I'm just imagining like what it's gonna be. Have you seen the videos? Of yeah, it? yeah, like the Casey Neistat video. Yeah, dude. Just imagine. I saw one. I don't think you can actually do this stuff on the Apple Vision Pro, but it was like ten separate videos of things that you could do. And it was like having a conversation with somebody in front of you and they speak a different language than you. And it's just automatically translating it Whoa. on your screen what they're saying. Okay, really? that's crazy. That Dude, would be that, fucking that's insane. That's you could just have a conversation funny. with somebody yeah. speaking something. <laughs> yeah. like, um, what but else? There was wouldn't... people watching like a Formula One race and you look down and you know, like the overhead of like the track and you can see all the cars. It yeah. was like augmented reality, like on your desk, you'd see all the cars. What? There was another one where <laughs> somebody was learning to play piano, and above it, it was like flowing down what keys you need the to. The guitar hero? Yes, like that. Whoa. So, oh, so this shit's a glitch. It's so, going to be nuts. Once they can fit it? that tech into like, imagine it's in your sunglasses. Yeah. They already have the sunglasses yeah. that can take photos. Imagine all that tech, and all you have to do is put on yeah. sunglasses. I, I knew it was something was crazy because I saw this guy make shoes. His name's Cool Kai and shit. And he. Ha, what he posted his like POV of it, and on, it was his hands, but it, was like, the it looked like video game hands. It had his like jewelry on his wrist and everything. <laughs> so I don't did it like normal. Like he didn't set that up inside of this. No, I don't think so. I mean, when you're looking through it, you're not actually 
it's like you're looking through a screen and like the sensors on it are creating what you see. You're not yeah, looking yeah. like straight through the headset. Dude, that's crazy. But yeah, it's going to be nuts, bro. I mean, yeah, that shit's crazy. See, I... I it's I, obviously weird. Like, this is going to be the worst yeah. one ever. Yeah. So I, I don't think I would buy this one, but give it, like, give it 10 years, bro. It's going to be... Ready fuck. Player One. It's going to be nuts. Dude, imagine... Like, insane shit. Yeah, shit, bro. I can't wait for him to put them in glasses. Yeah, glasses yeah, is I'm not going to walk up. around with those. Yeah. I'm not They're definitely gonna trying to do that. that. The glasses thing. I'm Definitely. never gonna walk around with that. Fucking like, well, somebody showed the patent. Confidently, I will never walk around. Two thousand. Like, I'm walking through a city. I'm not putting that. shit. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Two thousand seven though, they patented the Apple Vision Pro. The same year the first iPhone came out, they had like the drawing. In the drawing, it was connected to an iPod, showed like the thing that would go on your face yeah, yeah. and all the tech inside of it. So they've they been, been working on it? this shit since two thousand seven. Imagine crazy. what they're working on right now for like twenty forty. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. All the ideas it. and shit. So when, oh, not yeah. even then, just by the time we get wiped out, what they're gonna be left over and the ideas they'll have. Shit. Shit. <laughs> it's I mean, be, it's some crazy. black mirror type shit. It is. It yeah, actually is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're getting no closer lie. and closer to. We're flying too close to the sun. It seems. You love that fucking saying. Huh? You love that <laughs> saying. Fly too co close to the sun. Don't be uh, surprised when you get burned. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, dead ass, dude. Yeah, I feel it. But it's, we're literally turning into a uh, Wally. Remember all, all the people? Their yep. their bones mm -hmm. all are fucked up, so they have to sit on their shit. Mm -hmm. and they get yep. flown around, and they're they. I think they have like visors on, don't mm -hmm. they? They have like shit in front of them. So I, I mean, think so. We're getting closer to that shit. Nobody I saw where a lot of people that. are returning theirs though, because you can't watch porn on it. Which obviously that's like. Oh, so people the are top pissed? of mind, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty five hundred, and you try and it like blocks it out. It says like sensitive content. Apple doesn't allow or whatever. Oh, they're so. gonna start yeah, for uh, now. Jailbreaking. Yeah. yeah, for now. Jailbreaking. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> for now. Wait, someone's working on that right now too. Going yep. crazy in like a basement. Oh, someone found that out already. They someone's that loving out. it. Someone's literally like, at a desk probably right now with a literal. You know those uh, like synthetic butts. Like they literally are butts. In the <laughs> <laughs> they have a butt next to them. They got their Apple Visions and they got a screwdriver trying to tinker and get what? Trying to do what? <laughs> they're trying to tinker and get their shit. Oh, dude, that was another thing they showed. <laughs> Not real right now, but it will be. They like they had their Apple Vision Pro on or their tech or whatever, and they were looking at their girlfriend or wife, and it was like a deep fake app where you oh, could no. go and just like swipe and change the face on them. Oh my god! Oh hell no! It's gonna get fucking that is weird. So disrespectful. Weird. It's gonna get yeah, weird. That is right. I mean, yeah. If you're, if you are, if you, I mean, speaking candidly here, if you, if you have your wife in front of you and you got AI making her look like a yep. different person, yep. that is insane. <laughs> that is, that's insane. <laughs> that would never fly. No, ever. No. That's crazy. It's gonna get weird, man. It'll take a while, but it's it's I, coming. Uh, we we really we went down we went down to see but this is what people are thinking about. Like nobody cares <laughs> about the fucking tech. Like nah. <laughs> <laughs> people want to see some fucking knockers. <laughs> and they're using the Apple Vision Pros for. Yep. That's sick, but you're getting it? No, I don't think I'm gonna get this one. You're gonna wait? Yeah. I'm not really like even when the iPhone first came out, I'm not like an early adopter. I oh, wait really? until it's like built out a little bit and I don't know. I'll, I'll give it a couple years. Version three, yeah, version the new four, probably be expensive as hell. I mean, that shit's expensive. How much is it? Four, four grand, thirty five hundred. Yeah. The Vision. Yeah. Is it like? Is it that expensive? I think it is. Damn. Yeah, I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that. I, I don't. I don't even know what I use it for. Everything I, I just have my phone. Yeah. It's like I feel like everything that you can use the Apple Vision Pro for now yeah, is it's on like your phone. A, it is. It's just it reminds me about more... iPad in a fucking headset. Right. Not but then iPhone. again. I'm I'm kind of ignorant to it because I've done literally zero research on it. I just don't care enough. I I see people get it. I'm not I'm not really too tech like that. <clears throat> I'd get a. Would you get a Cybertruck? No. You wouldn't. I don't think so. I don't, I don't like them. You kind I've, of fuck with it. How expensive are they? I don't even know. I haven't even looked. Yeah. I'm I not. mean, I'm sure they're. They you see the video of the guy on the interstate where like somebody's filming it from another he car. The, He's got the yeah. Apple Vision Pro on. Yeah. He's sitting there like. <laughs> yeah, in the cyber truck. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> what a what a yeah, it's it's weird, bro. Going crazy out there. All right. We've got Zen.
Talking about Big Zin, Zin was actually just in New Mexico. We can't say for what, but yesterday was his one year retired. Best and worst thing about having Zin around. Damn, was it really? I yeah, mean, it was a year it's all ago good things. Hmm? It's all good things. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's the, all good things. I mean, I've been knowing him since I was a kid, so it's like a little different, but... The I only mean, thing that I will say... Yeah, I say, love having dinner out. The only thing I will say is that we, we eat way too much. Like, when me and him are together, it's always Eating to good. go eat or yeah. drink or, like, just do something. That's, that's my only negative, but it's still a positive because, obviously, I fucking love eating. I just... I've been trying to lose weight. Uh, but yeah, congrats. He's always to Zen. posting some crazy ass food. Yeah, Zen. Mm -hmm. I'm Lovers. usually with him. Is it just like around here, like downtown food mostly? Or well, we were just in Boston downtown. We go to a lot of different places. Um, he's got the Italian spot. What's the what's the Italian spot? Where's the chicken parm? He's always posting from here. Yeah, that, I think that was Monarch, Monarch, and that's like the the really like high end. It's like fifty two floors up. What the fuck? Yeah, that's a nice one. Valentine's Day is coming up as well. I forgot. Yeah. Valentine's Day is coming up very shortly. Oh, I'm a free agent. Just letting y'all know anybody out there. No baby mamas? No baby mamas. None of that. Free agent. So, you know, if any of y'all got a, maybe a sister or... <laughs> oh, hell no. I mean, what Where you, you mean? There don't, there's nothing wrong with that. Where are you going to take them? They'll be taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. You're telling people on the pod to pimp their sisters to you? That's no. cool. I mean, they're not getting pimped. It's like, <laughs> like Flavor Flea. It's like Flavor, Flavor Flea. Flea. Oh, I'm sorry. Flavor Love. Uh, but yeah, Valentine's Day coming up. Um, such a good show. Do y'all have anything special planned? I don't think we're doing much mm -mm. this I'm year. I'm trying to have something special planned. Yeah, I'm planning on it. I got a nice rest. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I got a nice res lined up. I'm pretty excited for a new place we're trying. You can't where? say you can't not where? doxing myself, obviously. Oh yeah. On Valentine's Day, not trying to dox myself. <laughs> That'd be insane. <laughs> trying to go out and enjoy a nice dinner. Usually, people people are very nice. I say I just I I err on the side of caution. On that type yeah. of stuff. Well, you ever been in Seattle? Don't go past. Don't go on Third Street. Third Street. Yeah, on Seattle, don't go to Third Street. Don't go for the Ross for less. Just <laughs> never go to the, the Ross for less. You're asking, you're asking for, it. for it. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Did you heard the story, right? No. Where Iz almost got stabbed. Oh, and that I was got there. Stabbed? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You showed me the video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's Third Street. Yeah, off of Third Street. Okay. It's yeah, like it was like a block away from the Ross for less, and there was that girl that was like, and I was like, can we drive up a little more? <laughs> like, he was about to let us out right next to her. <laughs> oh, dude, it was it, it, it was crazy. Uh, but what's up next? We got new rumors about COD Black Ops Golf War. Can we click on that? Read the fucking screen. Yeah, there. New rumors about Call of Duty 2024 Black Ops Golf War campaign to have open world <laughs> elements. What do we think about? Did you you did you play the most recent campaign? Yeah, I hate and th those missions particular. I fucking hated them. That's kind of what it was, right? Yes, like the it open was, world. It felt like you were dropping into war zone instead of like yeah. I don't really like that very much. I, I didn't personally like it. I like the more linear, like, yeah. you start the level, you hear the dialogue, okay, we got to go. And you're at a place you've never seen before. Like, the first mission where you're at the prison and you're, like, breaking them out, that's, like, campaign. That shit was cool. Yeah. That shit was super cool. Um, but, yeah, I didn't really like the open world elements very much. Campaign will have a fast travel system and vehicles. What, are they trying to make this shit Far Cry? Yeah, fast travel? Weird. Are they trying to make it Elden Ring? Like, what are we doing here? Uh, Raven Software is developing it. Adler will return Who's October 24, 2024 release. Is that a character? Uh, yeah, I don't, even, I don't even know who Adler is, but all of that stuff is campaign-based. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie, I'm not the biggest campaign guy in, in the world. Yeah, I don't even play him. Only one I've ever played was COD 4. I played this one because we hadn't had COD for so long, it felt like, that... I was like, it was during the off season. I was like, I'm going to play it. Like, I'm going to play it, take a day, play the campaign, fuck around, you know, like, uh, but I, I didn't hate it. And I haven't played a COD campaign in a long time. There were some good maps, like the ones that were meant to be like a campaign map. They were fun, but as yeah, like every other one was like a little, we're going to drop you into Urzikstan and just blow up this helicopter. And Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Matt, you just had your Halo seasons kind of starting back up a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
talk to me a little bit about what's going on. Mm, we played a we played a tourney. Wait, what was that tournament? Because I didn't hear about it, but I knew. There's you just one every weekend. It's not like a big tournament. It's like a two k. Like a two k. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, it's like a two k. Dude, people were in Is my stream for... acting like it was like a twenty five k fucking. No. They were like, "You're not gonna watch formal," and I was like, <laughs> "Dude, I didn't even know there was a tournament today." No, they're like two k's, and then at the end of the month, there's like a five k. But the five k is way more important than all the two k's combined. So these are just practice. It's you don't have to watch it. So is it just for seating? <laughs> Yeah, it's seating for the five K and then and the that's that's the seating is. for Arlington. It's just it's stupid. Is the five K pro points or prize pro points? points? I mean there's a prize pool, but it's like fucking a hundred bucks each or something. Like it's like you know? So it's all for pride and practice and it's just practice really and I points. Mean, people are tweaking. Yeah, I mean Monsker won. <laughs> like, I mean he's he, he, been he's been due. He plays these things and he's just a guaranteed ticket to the final with any roster he plays with. It's f it's actually pretty insane. Who is it? I've never seen someone like the monster. You Wait, know. really? Yeah, he literally plays with like any roster and he gets to the final. And this time he won. But like he gets to the final no matter who he plays with. He plays with top sixteen teams, top twelve teams, they just go to the final. They beat us, SSG, they beat FaZe, like how is this a thing? They just that guy. <laughs> Dude beats me, bro. People thought he was cheating, he's not cheating. Are you sure? I'm sure. I, I don't think he's shooting. Is he fucking yacked up? I, don't, I just think he's just like just a little in his own head of tournaments, you know, for lack of a better. Whenever he gets on the stage, he starts overthinking shit. Yeah, I mean, it's. Yeah. We've seen it happen, but who who ended up winning? It? SSG? Yeah, him. Yeah. Yeah, well. Yeah. That'll do it. Uh, what's up next? We got a billionaire bank rolls the steroid Olympics. Oh, yeah, that sounds fucking dope. What the fuck <laughs> is what? this? Everyone's allowed to dope. Like, <laughs> like, it's gonna be the biggest baddest motherfuckers <laughs> what yeah it's gonna be sick you're allowed to use steroids i did not hear about this that's yeah. crazy is it peter teal who was it i think it is what so random people are gonna be like oh, my fucking time oh yeah I am so, I'm so fucking confused. So what what are the what are the sports they're yeah, playing? Yeah, I don't know what are the they games throwing are. Throwing javelins and shit just <laughs> yeah, jacked out of their minds. Uh swimming, gymnastics, gymnastics, weightlifting. What is that? Track and field? Oh, imagine. And combat. Combat. Combat? <laughs> Wait, combat is crazy. <laughs> It's so broad, dude. Just combat. Combat. <laughs> Anything goes. It's such I a think good about idea. if you're part like in that, you're like combat. Your mind starts going like, is this a fucking Royal Rumble? Like, it's like a gladiator <laughs> pit. Bro. Just weapons. You just open a games. door and you're in a field, and there's also fifty other motherfuckers. Just other just jacked motherfuckers out of their skull. <laughs> such and a you good somehow idea, have man. to be the last man standing. You're just like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, unlike the Olympics where 44% of Olympians admit to using banned substances while only 1% get caught. So they said, fuck it. Yeah, if I'm so the, AIDS with 1%. <laughs> if the real Olympians, and I say real, I don't mean it as disrespect, but the real Olympians are doping. Yeah. So let's just run with it. Let's let them all dope. <laughs> Does it say when, when it is? It's got to be at least a couple years in the making, right? Well, this has to be like... This is this has to be like borderline though, because steroids are obviously really bad for you long term if you don't use them correctly, right? Like they can fuck your shit up. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure I don't. Are they illegal? Yeah, you can't just. I think they're illegal, bro. Yeah, I don't There's think you no can way. just go buy steroids. There's no way they could be illegal and then and put on this. an event like yeah, this, that's right? True. Like, yeah. Just everyone's allowed to take heroin. It might be yeah, illegal. Yeah, like, <laughs> just go crazy. <laughs> it's the heroin ball. <laughs> like, well, might be legal where it's gone. Maybe. Provide more details. April 17th. Okay. Promote uh, Paris during the Summer Olympics. Okay. They're well, calling it the Enhanced Games. Oh, yeah, dude. That goes we're, hard. we're flying too close, man. Oh, here we go. Flying too we're close. We're flying again. too close to the sun. The Enhanced Games. <laughs> he loves that. Next, they're going to start putting robotics into people and shit. I'm Wonder telling wanting you. a robot. What was it? Alita? Alita, the last fucking. You seen that movie? What? Alita, oh yeah, the I have Battle seen Angel. That. I have seen that. The chip will. What? Elon Musk chip. Oh, the Neuralink. No, I think he did put it in somebody's brain, right? Somebody did it already. Yeah, what's going on with that guy? No, Wait, I'm no not done with that. I'm, I'm not stuff? done with that. You're telling everyone how he's feeling. Like, I haven't. Said that. <laughs> oh, is he alive? Yeah, is he awake? <laughs> I think we're thinking about this the wrong way, though. The dope. See, when I hear steroids, I think of just massive dudes. Okay. Like just massive <laughs> fucking like hell is more like John Cena dudes right <laughs> like level of of massiveness yeah 
I feel like this though. I mean, they're they're not gonna be like massive. They're just gonna be <laughs> no, like track and field. You can take stuff that just you you have so much endurance, like you literally don't run out of energy. Oh so God. they're just running like six hundred miles. They get <laughs> they, they get to their pit stop and they just have they just pull their pants down. Somebody injects them in the ass, and <laughs> smacks them on the ass real quick, and they just fucking like a train just <laughs> right back at it again. Shoot. Guaranteed to blow up, bro. It'll be so good. <laughs> oh, I'm so, I'm so intrigued. No way this ends well. There's just no way. <laughs> well, someone's gonna. I mean, uh, God someone. forbid, but someone could have like a heart attack yeah, or something gonna, during yeah. it. Because if there's no they're limit, be like, like steroids, they're gonna be like, someone find me the fucking Pablo. And he'll, uh. <laughs> Dude, people are gonna be overdoing it so hard to try to win, especially if it's allowed. It's just not going to end well. Yeah, there's I, just no way this ends well. There's no way there's a second annual Enhanced Games. It's a one and done. It's a one and done? There's just no way this is going to happen. 900 athletes have expressed interest in participating in the Enhanced Games. I'm right, they have. Any interest, <laughs> Will? Goddamn right, they did, yeah. Someone's been waiting for this shit. Fuck yeah. Wow! All right, the enhanced games coming, uh, coming soon. That is that is something that I did not think I would see today. I cannot lie to you. <laughs> Next up, we got to talk about the bowl. It's coming up. And last night, tell me how last night we're in the group chat. Yeah, all of our optic I didn't get the really reads, but yeah, break this down to me. What all of our cool. optic chat, right? So Paige texted. She's like, "What are we doing for the bowl?" Zinny's like, "I'm thinking Seth's house." <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> I haven't said anything like I, Zinni said I mentioned it at dinner, which I don't remember, but he does. So I said, OK, I don't remember this, but that's fine. So the next thing Paige brings up is like, OK, well, we need food because obviously Super Bowl party, two most important things. Food, alcohol, right? Like you just need them. It's a Super Bowl party. So Zinni gets mad that I'm that Paige is like, everyone should chip in, let's get a taco bar. So he offered my house up and then got pissed that he was going to have to pay like $20 for the taco bar. Fucked up. It doesn't make any sense to me. But we've got the Niners, we've got the Chiefs. It's the last football game for seven months. And I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty sad about it. Who's, uh, who's the favorite? I don't even know who the favorite is. I would say if if I was going off just my opinion, I would say the Niners are probably favorited. Yeah. Uh, can you pull up the favorite of this? Kansas City beat who last? The Bills? Buffalo? Uh, I think I watched Ravens. a little bit of that game. Did they beat the Ravens? Yeah, no, they beat the Ravens. Oh, they, the Ravens? They beat the Bills, uh, and then the Ravens. Oh, okay. Wait, who did they play first, though? The Chiefs? Because they didn't have a bye. They played... Who, who did they beat first? The Texans? No, it wasn't the Texans. Cowboys. No, they're in the NFC. Who the fuck did the Chiefs beat in their first round? I don't know, but <clears throat> the Niners are favorites to defeat the Chiefs. What's the spread? Because the Niners are like <clears throat> the most stacked, probably the most stacked in terms of like talent positions in the league, like receivers, running, running back. back. What's the running back? Huh? What's Christian the running McCaffrey? back? That guy's a fucking beast. Guy's an absolute tank. What the fuck's going on there? That guy's so um, good. Dude, I saw a picture of him. It was, okay. it was so sick when he was a kid. Because, you know, his dad is uh, Ed McCaffrey, who used to be the wide receiver for the Broncos. And it was, like, literally Ed McCaffrey. Or, no, it was, I think it was Shannon Sharp or some. Yeah, I think it was Shannon Sharp was, like, holding Christian McCaffrey as a kid. Because really? Shannon Sharp and Ed McCaffrey were teammates crazy. with the Broncos. That's and, crazy. Because uh, they're just, like, destined for greatness. They really are. Ah, they beat the Dolphins. How the fuck did I not remember that? They beat the Dolphins. They beat, wait. Dolphins, Bills, and then the Ravens. It says the Bills won 20 to 17, though. Or is that regular season? That's regular season. Okay. And then they played the, in the divisional <clears throat> 27 to 24. I can't believe the Chiefs beat the Ravens, first off. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a lock 49ers versus uh, the Ravens. It's all rigged. Yeah. That's the talk of the town. Yeah. They need T Swift to go to the bowl. What do we think? Oh, do yeah. we think it's rigged? I think they're going to let her sit out for that. You she got to go to the bowl. Out? Then they win, and then she gets proposed to. Oh, my <laughs> Wait, God. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> with you. Imagine like, the ratings. Yeah. No, that's not even that. That's not, that's even not like, too far off. That's not far that's off. That's not too far off. I could dead ass see that happening. Like, I could actually see that shit happening. I could see it now, and I'm picturing it. <laughs> I mean, if you're proposed. Travis Kelsey, it's just one big bang after one. Isn't fucking like how many uh, more viewers is Tisha bringing to wait, a Super Bowl? Isn't Patrick Mo or no Patrick Mo having viewers? a baby? Right? Dude, she literally oh, she has created to? like economies for cities. <laughs> 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 She's fucking massive. 
you think they're going to they're gonna let her not go to the Super Bowl? She has created economy pros- <laughs> economic prosperity for fer- certain cities that she went on <laughs> in her tour. You think that she's not? That's insane. <laughs> dude, dude her, her fucking, her like minions, dude. There's going to be a lot. I bet the, there might be a huge spike in Super Bowl, like by 10, 20% maybe. Oh, the ratings are going to go nuts. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be the most viewed Super Bowl ever? Yeah. I think by so. By far? Yep. I think so. What is it? Like, what's the most viewed Super Bowl so far? What do I look like? I don't know. An almanac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be the most viewed. It's <laughs> it's Mahomes. I don't know. If the Chiefs win, I might I might actually be a little skeptical. Mm. I what, might of the be rigging? Skeptical. Huh? Skeptical of what? The rigging? Yeah, I don't know. Something just it wouldn't it wouldn't sit right with me. I think Mahomes is an absolute tank, but in terms of like the teams, I mean any given day. But it's not like the Chiefs are bad either. But I was gonna say they're they're pretty good. Yeah, they're solid. They've they, been in the last like four out of five Super Bowls, three out of four or something. They're solid. Something like that. Yeah, they're really good. But I don't know. I thought the Ravens and the Niners were also like are also super solid at pretty much every position. So I didn't we'll know see. the Ravens were good. They were insane. They were really good. They, they, they still Lamar, Lamar Jackson? Yeah, they played the Niners in the regular season and <clears throat> smoked them. Oh, shit. And, like, nobody was doing that. So, yeah, we'll see. My prediction, I'm going Niners. I think the Niners are going to win. Me too. Wouldn't surprise me if the Chiefs uh, do end up winning, but I think the Niners are going to win. I'm going to be rooting for the Chiefs. I want to see the fairy tale ending. Let's just see it. The proposal at the end. Isn't that one of Taylor Swift's songs, Fairy Tale? That Sounds one, like something. Oh my god, yeah, it that is. One, it's just hit. It's a right banger now. too. They win. That shit starts playing. Oh my god. Kelsey hits a knee. <laughs> wow. T Swift fan go crazy. It'd be a movie. It'd be and an the, actual movie. And the internet goes wild. It'd be a movie. Wait, bro. who's the who's the halftime this year? Usher? Usher. Usher. That's, that's a weird one. I won't lie. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a lot of good songs, but that is a weird one. That's like a because he's like. I feel like older. he's like our generation. He's a little older, like, yeah. When we were growing up, Usher was like huge. They might as well just have Taylor Swift play it. Yeah, right? <clears throat> and they never pay the people that play the Super Bowl. So I, well, I, what do you think? Taylor Swift's probably going to like make an appearance during the... Think, what do you mean they don't you're pay? you're getting her viewers. Like they don't pay the people that perform at the Super Bowl. Do the people you don't paid? Get paid? Wait, really? I don't think so. They, do they just want the exposure and stuff? I mean, it is. Yeah, it's a lot of exposure. Can, yeah. can you pull up how many viewers were on the Super Bowl uh, like year by year? I mean, it's like I want to say it's over a like hundred million, yeah, maybe about 100 more. Million. Oh, really? One fifty. It's like it's a fuck time. I mean, the only thing that's viewed more than it is probably like the World Cup. So I should storm the field with a big rich and lonely sign. You should, yeah. Honestly. Bingo. You As should. the drop is going live, you should go Bingo. throw it over Usher, force him, tackle him, tackle him, point strangle at security, ta- point guard, at Taylor in the suite, <laughs> run over to Travis Kelsey, try to tackle him. <laughs> All right, there. So it. Fifteen. What, wait, what is this? I can't even. All platforms. That was the year on the left. What's that? One twenty-six. Oh, that New was England, Patriots. And, yeah, yeah, that was the comeback. Oh, that was the comeback. <laughs> that makes so much sense. But yeah. one hundred fifteen million. Like, yeah, you're doing that for free. I'm. Do, I'm doing that for. I might pay them. I might pay them and say, let me do it. Dude, look at all the New Englands just in the Super Bowl. Just like as you go down, holy shit. But who do you guys got? For this yeah, year, I'm going Niners. Niners. Chiefs. 49ers probably. Chiefs? Uh, yeah. Niners? Niners. Niners? So we got three Niners, three Niners, one Chief. Three Niners, I'm not talking Drake. Jesus. All right, reaction. Not bringing them up. Huh? No, don't bring them up today. Still thinking about it. Now I'm just, now I'm back there. Now I'm reliving it again. Yeah, well, I heard Niner. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. Is this you? Yeah, this is the Super Bowl commercial. You're in a Super Bowl ad? Oh, yeah. that's sick. And I just want to say, first off, I fucking love both of the people in this, in the commercial with me. Aubrey Plaza and Nick Offerman. Is that, wait, that's, Nick Offerman? You're talking about, what is this? Parks and Rec. The, yeah. The guy that's like always stone faced. He's like, it's yeah. Nick Offerman. Yeah. The big oh, ass dude, stash. That's incredible. Yeah. So they made me shave my stash because he had a stash. Look like he's... And they didn't want like hella stashes of <laughs> too many stashes the too many they said the director said too many stashes nice. one he just got to shave and i mean obviously i'm losing that one yeah so i was like all right and that's uh, incredible they run it yeah it's run the me show. america's sweetheart and i just love having a blast the mountain dew baja blast kids party having a blast stuck in an elevator oh. having a blast winning oh. losing ah. 
having a there he was. Me already. Did you even see me? I Wait, were you the streamer in the top yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was it you in the middle too or on the top right? No, the top right. Oh, it was okay. Offerman. Oh, that oh, guy. That guy's fun. In stores everywhere. Can we get a freeze frame? Yeah, we. You, it's quick. It's, <laughs> it's quick. <laughs> you got to really pay attention. Yeah. Bang your yeah. ears. Oh, there we go. Come on. Wait, up. are those real accounts? No. The hell no. Wait, that's sick. You that's think they're incredible. gonna have like Tiff and <laughs> all my yeah. mods? Wait, that's sick. That is dope. But yeah, it's quick though. It's quick. You gotta really be locked in. That's okay. It's okay. People are gonna still tweet the picture at you. You're yeah, still 100%. a Super Bowl ad. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I'm not. It's I'm not. Cool. It's so definitely how long did dope. that take to For my part? Yeah. yeah. For that little fucking like <laughs> half a second, it took like an hour and a half, two hours. But with camera set up, probably like four hours. That's crazy. So you just about. had to keep saying that over and over? I had to do like a bunch of different takes. Oh. Wait, so you did it like remotely? Or did yeah, they yeah. come to your... Yeah, it's my house. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I did it like... I probably did like 200 different takes. Yeah. Crazy. And they, they used the one with the Optic Gaming. We were worried about that because we were doing ones without Optic Gaming <clears throat> uh, and ones with Optic Gaming and they used the one with Optic Gaming. So. That's good. Wow. Get a double. Get scum. And there the it is. Logo. Is that who you, her name's? Uh, what is it? Audrey. What? Aubrey. Aubrey. Is Plaza. it Aubrey or Audrey? I recognize her for something. I can't remember I what she. I recognize too, but it's Aubrey, right? Aubrey. Yeah. She what played is she in something. Player. Could have wore skunk merch. What is she in? Can you look that up? It's like bothering me. Build a brand. Build yourself. You know what I'm saying. I don't know. What's up, guys? Uh, Roger kicked me off the podcast, but you can't kick me off the ad reads. So let's get into it. February 11th, the big game. The biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl, and FanDuel is here to support you. As you know, we're teaming up with FanDuel to offer everyone our free Optic Gaming jersey. Just in time for the big game. All you got to do is sign up to FanDuel at FanDuel.com slash Optic Jersey and make a sports book wager of at least $20 within 30 days of signing up. By doing this, you will be eligible to receive a sponsor-free special edition version of our brand new 2024 jersey along with $150 in bonus bets guaranteed after placing your bet make sure to check your email to follow the instructions on how to receive the jersey and don't miss out on this limited time offer sign up for FanDuel and place your bets and you all must use the link Click the link or you are not eligible. That is FanDuel.com slash Optic Jersey uh, in order to get eligible for our newest jersey for 2024. If you've been feeling a little achy or tense from your recent rank grind, Veraheal.com is committed to helping you receive the medical cannabis that you need with ease. That is Veraheal. The Veraheal platform is super simple to use. Just sign up, talk to a doctor, and uh, get approved, and that's pretty much it before you queue your next match the mmj card will be on its way unlocking exclusive and limitless resources and serious savings all from the comfort of your own home ready to get started visit veryheal.com slash optic that's v e r i h e a l dot com slash optic for 30 dollars off your first medical cannabis card veryheal.com makes relief easy do you need a snack to fuel your gaming sessions? Well, look no further. Cheez-Its. Duo crackers. Because two flavors are better than one. Made with 100% real cheese and baked crispy and crunchy to perfection. Cheez-It duos are the, our cheesiest gaming snack. Visit Cheez-It.com to find a store near you and keep the game going. What's up, guys? Hope you're enjoying the podcast. But before we get back to it, let's talk a little bit about Shopify. When I started streaming, selling things were the least of my worries. It was not anything that was even on my mind uh, until one day, cha-ching. And now we uh, we're, we sell merch and we sell uh, coffee mugs and, and different types of things for TST and for Optic as well. Whether you're selling a little or a lot, Shopify is here to help. 
Shopify is a global commerce platform that helps you at every stage of your business, from the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the did we just hit a million orders stage? <laughs> Shopify is there to help. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout, which is 60 or 36% on average better uh, compared to the leading commerce platforms, which is pretty crazy. Uh, like I said, I know plenty of my friends that uh, do content online and whether they do podcasts or streams or YouTube videos or uh, anything of the sort, pretty much exclusively sell their uh, merchandise online and use Shopify. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the United States and Shopify is the global force behind Allbirds, Rothy's, Brooklinen, and millions of other entrepreneurs of every site across 175 countries sign up for one dollar per month trial at shopify.com slash optic all lowercase go to shopify.com slash optic now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in shopify.com slash optic all right next up we've got joe rogan signed a 250 million dollar deal with spotify that will Yeesh. let him post Christ. on x and twitter didn't he just sign the hundred mil? That's on top of the hundred? No, I think he signed more than a hundred, right? I thought What's it was a hundred million dollar deal, like a couple years ago when he first oh, went yeah, off with YouTube. Uh, Fucking Christ! Holy shit, Isn't dude! It? When is our podcast gonna take off like that? Yeah, come get Crazy. us Spotify. Come get us X. <laughs> <laughs> Spotify is paying him two hundred and fifty million dollars so that he'll host on other websites. So I'm does he confused. do? I'm confused. That's an incredible deal. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's great. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Oh, so oh, he, oh he can he can post yeah, his yeah. podcast on Twitter and shit and other sites and get paid and 250 million dollars. Wow, wow, and get that's the X monetiz monetization check. Is that that's all Joe Rogan crazy. does? Is he like uh, does he do a podcast a day? Straight podcast. I don't know if it's I a mean, day, but I do I do watch them. Quite, dude, quite same. Often. I love like the little uh, cuts they do, like a little take five minute little clips out of like his hour long podcast or whatever. I just watch those over and oh, over yeah. the highlights. Yeah. 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 I wonder, I wonder if he does like a week, like I wonder if he just has like a day where he'll just do like five, oh, like he'll I, just I do like know. five, two hour ones. Nah, I don't know. That's because yeah, like they're so pretty long. Much, dude. He's doing like two and a half, three, four hour fucking podcast. Is that how long they go? Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. He Jeez. probably does one to two a day. I mean, that's a shit ton of podcasting. I can't lie. That's all he's doing. But he, he also has like, I mean the pick, he can pick whoever he wants, and yeah. people are gonna come on. He he's picking. He's got line lined up. Would you for go like to months. a live podcast to watch it? Like if he did a live show? No, no. that's too. Would that's it? too. No. If Theo Vaughn was I on it, I would probably do it. I'd do it. Theo Vaughn's a lit. If it was so close, funny. who was on it? Theo Vaughn. Oh, uh, <laughs> he gets funny ass guests because he's like in the comedian world. You know what I mean? So yeah. like half his guests are comedians, so they're just like hilarious podcasts. See the one where he was uh, <laughs> he was on the Joe Rogan podcast and he told Joe Rogan was showing him in his cold plunge or whatever, and he was like, "You look like one of them wrapped up turkeys with the lines <laughs> on them because like his abs were all fucking." <laughs> Dude, he's so good. Yeah, or he was no. talking to uh, Drewski, and it like he's so Theo Vaughn is so funny that like his jokes go over. It's too fast for comedians. Mm -hmm. I forget what Drewski said. He was talking about meeting Michael Jackson or something, and he was like, "Yeah, you know, I I wish I I wish I would have seen him." And uh, Theo Vaughn asked him, he was like, "Did you ever meet Michael Jackson?" And he was like, "Nah, man, I must have been what like eight <laughs> nine years old." And Theo Vaughn like immediately says, "Well, that would have been the time to meet him." <laughs> I mean, so that's a good. sick one. Yeah, it's a sick one. It's a sick one. But, but that it, guy, that guy, he can say whatever he wants. Oh, yeah. He's so funny, dude. It's always, it's always crazy to me when people transcend the cancel culture. He can just say whatever the fuck. People just love it. It's all in the delivery. Mm -hmm. it, it's the delivery? It. There's like yeah. no hate in his voice. No. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. just like, just, he just... Looks. But yeah, shouts out, shouts out Joe Rogan, man. I mean, he's been, he's been grinding his podcast for... Doing the game. Fuck yeah. I, I don't know how he does it, because... I just feel like it's a lot. Like um, I mean, it says right there how he does. Well, it. I know, but like, picture like his like he's got to like if he has a physicist coming in. Like, you think Joe Rogan's like that well versed? He probably has to like prep to be able to like know what the fuck he's talking about at least to well, make like, it 
kind of just like ask some questions all the time he'll just like let a like someone like that like a physicist or someone who's obviously in some like crazy line of work he'll just let them talk most of it and then he'll just ask some questions or pitch in every now and then but like yeah, he's you gotta know talk. what questions to ask kind of you, you kinda gotta do a little bit like i can't what am i gonna i i thinking of like what i would ask i have no fucking idea he's just really good at keeping the conversation going like there's not really any dead time like you know what i mean but also tomorrow we have this should be I don't know why this isn't on the topic list, but tomorrow we have resurgence ranked dropping season number two. You so gonna today, play that? huh? Are you gonna play that? I really want to. Cause <laughs> do you want to play it with me? Because these guys <laughs> no, are so they these guys only want to play like ranked. Like you guys fucking, still love ranked like that? Even with yeah. all the cheaters and shit? I mean, I tried have you guys to love the it. cheaters yet? Yeah. Fuck yes. Probably probably like not yesterday. We were definitely running into Wallers yesterday. Oh, we we're running into cheaters pitches. every day. We we didn't like have a blatant one yesterday at all. Any cheese working now? No, <laughs> we're running into cheaters every day. <laughs> we're running into cheaters probably one out of every five games. Like there's probably Jesus, at yeah. least yeah, yeah, yeah no. But one like every five, it's not. Two, but like they man. they're scared though to do it on his stream. Yeah, that's what I'm saying too. Like, like, who, the like they'll be like, yeah, yeah or they'll leave damn. before the oh, game yeah. starts, or they'll just want to rank risk all it. the way Some back of them up. do though. Some that's of them so try. Time. Yeah, no, people like, I I don't know. Like we're definitely playing cheaters, and but this is what scares me for for resurgence is because now <clears> it's <throat> on a free to play game. So because <laughs> obviously. Run rampant. Wait, Obviously, MW3 with... ranked, you got to pay to actually have multiplayer and, and yeah. have ranked. Yeah. This shit, completely free. But, like, if you get high enough, though, and if, if it works properly, you're not going to run into that many cheaters. Because I swear in Warzone, we weren't running into that many cheaters. You know what I mean? Like, there's not that many cheaters in Warzone. Mm. Like, well, that we were, like, running into, like, day to day. how many... Not like Warzone 1, where it's, like, every other fucking 100 nine, win, some guy nice spin botting on the ground. You know what I mean? Well, the thing with... Warzone ranked is that there's the lobby's so big that you're not going to have like if you're in the top 250 you're not going to have like a bunch of iridescent teams and crimson teams like it puts mm -hmm. a lot of different really? ranks yeah you're not just running into like cuz just think about it there's a 100 you, you need 100 people a resurgence lobby was yeah. it like 60 people mm -hmm. like the matchmaking can't that's true. Or else you'd be waiting for like an hour. It'd be like Apex wait yeah. time or some shit. Which yeah. honestly, I wouldn't mind. But Well, how much SR would you get for a win? Yeah, that's what I want to see. Oh, teams remaining. Okay. How SR in Warzone rank? Teams remaining? Okay. Okay, so you get placement SR. The thing I'm curious about, I think you lose SR when you die in Resurgence, which kind of doesn't make sense to me because the whole point of Resurgence is is to, to be able to die. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's the whole point. First kill or assist, what? 10 kills plus assist, 100 SR. So if you win and you drop 10 plus, you get 250. Wait, what? This looks like you can get, like, an insane amount of points. Yeah, like, if you just have a nasty squad, you can low-key just rank up fast. Well, well there's Warzone kids not just going to, like, all grind together and just get top 50 right away? Like, <laughs> well, no, there's a, there, there's a price. Like, when you get to top 250, you're paying, like, 150 SR oh, like to get Apex? in the game. So if you don't win the game, you're basically, oh, like, mm. like if you don't get top SR? three, you're, like, losing like Apex. SR. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's how Apex works? Yeah, you, like, buy in. You start with, like, negative in the mm -hmm. top right. But I'm really excited That's for actually, this. I, I don't know how smart. I feel about that. Yeah, it's smart. I like Again, that. like, you just want to play MP ranked. Zinni only wants to play MP ranked. Fucking Nade shot said he was down to play this. <laughs> I love Nade. Yeah, Nade's Nade said he's down. Because so like, I guess it's me and Zinni. Yeah, I might be down. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how much you're getting stream sniped. The games with you are insane sometimes. Dude. They're insane. People oh, like, yeah. and people try to downplay, and I'm sitting here like, dude, there's no fucking way you guys think this is real. Games are insane. There's 30 people low town. We go low town, bro. It's <laughs> yeah. insane. Low there town, are 30 bro. people, and that's not where it ends. There's teams that land outside, and then they come to low town to try to kill you with their loadies. It's on like, the hill. Cyberlands. Yeah, fucking hell. I was like, I, I was getting mad at Nick because I was like, dude, you have to hide. Like, are you not getting pissed? Like, just dying? <laughs> like, are you, are you not getting angry? So we'll see. I, I don't, I don't think stream sniping is gonna be that bad. Well, just because I hide my screen. We'll see. But it's also resurgence, so... Makes it a little better. Yeah. So there's 50... What does it say? 51 players per match player count? 51? Mm, 17 yeah. teams? Yeah, match player count, 51. Fortune's Keep, which I'm excited for. Rios. 
I think this is going to be fun as fuck. I think it'll be fun. Oh, it's true. I just I, so my SR oh, yeah, on trios. COD gets reset tomorrow, and I got to get back to iridescent. What? Why? The new season's no, called. no. New season Actually, season. I heard, I heard the other. I heard that uh, ranks don't. Re your rank doesn't reset, but your like level does. So like your your like emblem, like whether it be the dragon or whatever the fuck it is, that resets back to zero. But your your actual rank doesn't. At least oh, that's okay. what I heard. I okay. that's what I heard today. And I was just in like a Twitch chat, and that's what people were saying. So I don't. There know. also be a death with fewer players. As I could be wrong. <clears throat> However, you cannot lose more SR than you put in for the deployment fee. You cannot. Oh, that just so means, that just means you're buying in. You could lose a hundred if you're buying in. You yeah, can only yeah. lose hundred. Yeah, yeah. thousand. Yeah. So there will be a death fee where players lose SR each time they die in Resurgence. While they're while there is respawning in the mode, you'll be penalized for dying often. However, you cannot lose more SR than you put in. Okay, so yeah, you can see where where are the deployment fees? Is that does it show it? I'm sure it's the same as like what Warzone was last year. There's no way they there, fucked there. with it that know. much. Uh, but I think it's gonna be dope, and it sounds like you're down to play it. I just you, I just started Halo. I can't just start grinding Warzone Resurgence, right? You don't have to grind it, but just play like tomorrow. Just tomorrow. Just to try it. Okay. I just I just want to try it because I might not like it. Mm -hmm. I think that I'm gonna like it based off like what it is. But I might not like it. Actually, on scrims tomorrow, we could try it. Dead ass. Oh shit! I oh. just got fucking hi hi hi. You go. You, you're gonna be on multiplayer. You're gonna be on multiplayer. Ranked? Yeah. I mean, see, like, I mean, if my shit doesn't reset and I'm still iridescent, I'll play Warzone ranked. See, like I have fun. I have fun playing multiplayer ranked until like the five hour mark, and then I'm like, okay, it's early time. Yeah, then I just then I just like Your my brain turns off. Smush. He starts looking at me as I'm spawning up, like, like bro, I'm spawning <laughs> here. You're not spawn trapping anyone. I'm just, <laughs> I'm trying to get it's any so, dope, like just so funny, cracking though. jokes. He like turns around fast, and then I'll be like, oh shit, that's tweaking. Like, he <laughs> yeah, that's that's funny. <laughs> dude, the other day I actually was tweaking, and you said it, and I was like, oh shit, I'm tweaking. And I forget what it was, but I was actually tweaking. I was like looking for someone in the back. Yeah. Oh, it was on invasion. And I spawned up. I'm like. That's bugging. <laughs> yeah, no, I was on an Invasion. That guy was our back blue, and I was like, where the fuck is this guy, bro? And I was like, I would literally hunt him for like Chasing a minute ghosts. and a half. Chasing ghosts. And you were like, Seth's tweaking. <laughs> <laughs> and I still didn't find him. He kept killing us. But I'm hype. I think, I think um, we've never seen- how many cheaters there are. Is it obvious when people are? Like, they'll just blatantly wall you, or they oh, kind of try to hide it? The, the obvious hard, ones, yeah. yeah. The obvious hard. ones, like, you can tell- they're like soft aiming and it's like, dude, nobody's shooting this fucking straight. Yeah. yeah. Like they're soft aiming, like all their bullets are hitting like here or your head. Yeah. Uh, or they're just fucking aimbotting, which that's the next I would rather tier them aimbot me. Yeah. Than wall me and I don't know <laughs> if they have like sound EQ <laughs> and like all this other shit. Yeah, you know so what I'm that, saying? I'd rather them just aimbot my shit. So that's what I'm saying. You don't think we're playing cheaters? We're playing a wall or probably... You're playing oh. a walling stream sniper probably every single game. I'd be so mm. fucking paranoid. Every dude. single game. <laughs> not every game. They're not that good. Every but time. Every I game, yeah, there's yeah. a stream sniping waller in your range. Not every game, but mm. some of them, for sure. So you never really know. Like when you die, it's you always really in the know. back of your head. Like, no, was like, that guy cheating? You kind of know, like, because. I mean, we've we've played a good amount of of ranked at this point. We've yeah. played we've played a decent amount of like multiplayer. We played hard point searches at the start of the year, so we like know when something's like, why the fuck are you looking at that? Yeah, it's like, why are you checking that right now? Right. So it's like you kind of just have to go off your Instinct. intuition. Yeah, makes sense. Um, but it's not it's not horrible. The the cheating hasn't been horrible. No, it hasn't been too bad, but it's bad. Yeah. It hasn't been horrible, but there's definitely people that are cheating. But I'm excited because this is the first time Resurgence ranked has ever dropped, I'm pretty sure. They did like Warzone ranked last year and the year before that, I think. Or was last year the first year? I can't remember, but I don't think they've ever done Resurgence. So we'll see how it goes. And that's their next fucking tier. They always do it. They, they, they release things one at a time, <laughs> so it keeps pulling you back in. Till October, November rolls around. 70 bucks again. Nah, till... I would say till like May. May's like when everything's probably like out. March, yeah. April, May, like yeah. everything for COD is like out at that point. They might add a couple maps. A couple skins. A couple skins that are cool. But then like after the CDL ends, it feels like COD just like ends. At least for me. Yeah, yeah. same. Like once CDL's done, it's like okay. Maybe like a one week of rank. People were playing ranked after that shit ended. I was like, these guys are nuts. Yeah. So love the show. I'm excited, oh, man. Yeah. I think it has love the shit. They love it.
And I'm not sure what the fuck else to talk about, so. End it. Toby Keith died. Yeah, I saw that. Did he that actually? R.I.P. Toby, man. R.I.P. Toby, He's man. The country singer, right? Yeah. What? Like hella famous. The Red Cup. I didn't even know he was Solo sick. Cup? He had a, yeah, Red Solo that, Cup. Yeah. Oh, Wait, wow. really? Yeah, he died this morning. I actually morning. saw him live at Stagecoach. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Weirdly enough. Damn. Love Toby Keith. That's insane. Toby. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, yeah, I know who this guy is. He had stomach cancer. Damn. R.I.P. a legend. That's insane. He was only 60, 61, 62? 62, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> R.I.P. Toby. Man, dude. Tough. It's, All right, let's just I say we just chatted up. Fuck. So what's going on? Oh. Y'all got planned after this fucking podcast. We go feed my baby or bottle. Similac. <laughs> Similac. <Huh>? Yeah. <laughs> How is the baby? Good. Great. Yeah, actually, she uh, she started crawling and babbling yesterday, which are two like major milestones. You know, they'll like make sounds like eh but they need to like make <laughs> sounds like ba 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 and she did both of them yesterday we were starting to get worried that like cuz after like 9 or 10 months if they're not babbling they might be autistic and you're like oh shit so we were oh. starting to panic a little bit but crazy. she uh but she started so yeah it's nice. dope so you, so it was that, a big day. you so you were like it yes. was a big day yesterday was a big day yes. <laughs> 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 we got it yeah, yeah. that's yeah, that's good. amazing how is it like it just day crazy. to day? Is it, is it as crazy as? It's incredible, dude. It's so good. Well, I like, I hesitate to say it's too incredible because it depends on like your situation. Like you would love it because Iz is, she stay at home. Yeah. Yeah. She stay at home. Like she can take care of the kid. Alex is stay at home. So it, like if you're in the right circumstances, it's great. You know, if you don't have to, you know, if you don't have two parents like commuting to work every day and you don't see your baby. But yeah, for our, our situation, it's, it's fantastic. It's like all the time. Is it all the time baby time or is it like? For her it is. Yeah, for me. No, I mean, I do my work throughout the day. and then Unless I get those like, markets open. Yeah, I'm, I'm locked Unless that in. market opens, you got to be there. Like, I'm checking right now. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. But that's amazing, yeah. But yeah, it's it's good. It's uh, it's fun. There's some scary moments. Like she had COVID. You know, we had to go, <laughs> no, we had to, no, go to urgent care. The baby had COVID? Huh? The baby had the COVID? The baby had COVID? That was, yeah, that was her first Whoa. sickness was oh, COVID. Oh, goodness. Yeah. When was that? Last week, two weeks ago, something like that. Oh boy, she didn't have it that bad though. She was she was good. Yeah, but oh, really? But yeah, it's it's all it's all good at the. What do you mean not that bad? It's a baby with COVID, isn't that for like her? Insane? No, she was good. I feel like what? babies' immune systems are probably better than ours. Yeah, Alex what? had it way worse. Is that true? I mean, they. I, mean, I don't think they just, get it. They don't get born. it as bad. Yeah, they're they're fresh. Yeah, right. That shit should be. I would feel like they're vulnerable. Yeah, if it's like. If they're under six months, then that's it probably. Kind of sketch, but oh, she's really? almost nine. She's like oh, developed okay. as a baby. Yes. Not, like not like speaking, but like as far as a baby, she's developed. Yeah, she's not like you don't have to worry about her just like <laughs> dying in her sleep or something like. She, Holy she, shit! But at first, <laughs> dude, <laughs> that is morbid. <laughs> yeah. dude, that's real, dude. Just at first, checking for the first six months, it's is like yeah, it's it's no joke. Bro. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah that would probably be scary to like have your like. The it's first scary time at first, and then you get heard a noise for like too long. Yeah. You slept a little too well. You're like, yeah, why haven't I woken up like, yet? like, damn, I didn't wake up in five hours. Yeah, you got to have the camera with the app on at all time when they're sleeping. And like, what did they do little... back in the day? Like, died, way before technology. Sure. Go in there with your <laughs> yeah. turn. They died more. Put it up to the baby's face. And just hope yeah. it's alive. Yeah, it's been it's been weird for me just being home alone. I mean, I it's it's weird when you have like is around and she's always helping. You know, she helps me with food, helps me with shit around the house if it needs fixed. But yeah. now that I'm home alone, it's like, if I want to do something, I have to, like, do it. Yeah. And it's like, when I'm streaming, it's just, it's so different. Because, like, I have to actually get off stream for, like, three, four minutes, go downstairs, let the dogs out, wait for them to be done, to let them back in, to yeah, go back nothing. up. Yeah. So it's like, I have to actually, like, leave my stream, which I usually never have to do, so. Yeah. Yeah, shouts out is. I know the stream is a lot different than a baby. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Not even comparable. Yeah, it's not even remotely comparable, but yeah, it's weird, man. You'll you'll like it. You'll like it. If y'all plan, I don't know if y'all plan on well, having kids. But. Mark's already there. No, but why do you what? keep saying? You can't just Mark's throw that there. Out there. That was the biggest deflect oh, I've not. ever seen. Yeah, yeah he did it over to but, you. No, I'm not there, but Seth is. Wait, that's, have, that's why he was telling y'all he can't tell. Is this pregnant, guys? <laughs> <laughs> is this pregnant, guys? I don't want to tell you. Wait, have we not talked about the fucking Aiden Ross scamage yet? <clears throat> no, we did not. Oh, my God. Yeah, this was insane. Is that Playboy Cardi? Yeah, that's Playboy Cardi. Okay. Um, 
So I don't know. I'm a little bit like just. He offered him $2 million and a Ferrari to come on the stream. And like the original, it was really only supposed to be 10 minutes. I minutes. have no idea. So what? Like no. I think it was. I mean, Jeez. I've seen a lot of TikTok conspiracies. Nah, these guys. I heard this motherfucker just... doesn't even have any interviews out, and that's why it was going to be so big. Like, Playboy Cardi doesn't do any interviews. Yeah, yeah, I've never yeah, heard yeah, yeah. And that's why this is going to be so big. So yeah. he's going to actually be on a stream. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But then I mean, obviously, it has to didn't be go like... that way. Yeah, because he said he stayed for half of it. I think he was only supposed to be there for like 12 minutes. So he stayed for six minutes. I, know, I, just, I did see Aiden Ross, like I saw a tweet this morning saying like they're going to do a part two. Yeah. And they're just going to do it again. Yeah, that's where... That's where it seems like... I don't know. Like an act or something. Now it's like super hyped up and now it's going to get 700k viewers. And now and it's just like weird. It'd be hella smart. I can't even lie. No, they're they're so good at like... At, at creating the those, yeah. those viral moments. Yeah. Um, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, is is that two mil real? Like, it's like, is it? I don't like, know. We'll never, know. we'll never 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 know. That's the cra- that's the annoying part. You'll just never get the and answer. And if you if he's in front of you and you ask him and he tells you, Yeah, it was real, you're like, it wasn't fucking real. You're like, wait, what? Was it? <laughs> like so it's like just saying with a mask on staring at yeah. you. You're just like, fuck, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, they probably are that smart. Now that I think about it, they got a whole team of people over there, Fuck like yeah. just literally formulating all day. How can we get hype on the stream? And like, then, and and I, and I think Aiden was saying that uh, there was a thirty million dollar kick deal for Cardi after the stream. But like, <clears throat> the thing for me is like he doesn't even do interviews and shit. Yeah, he ain't How the fuck is she gonna turn into a streamer? He ain't streaming. It's definitely good though. I was watching it. I was I was glued to my screen. I was yeah. like, "This is the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life." Like this guy just came on and went, "Twenty twenty four, new music." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Bro, what's going on?" Look at the mask. Yeah, if they're gonna do a part two, then that probably that probably makes sense. That was probably fake. Were you guys were you guys watching it like live? I didn't see it live. I just saw clips the next yeah, day. I saw clips. I it was at like 2:30 a.m. and I was How like viewers were in there. Uh like 400 when I was watching, but I was like I was cuz cuz there was like an hour and he was like he's coming on soon. He's coming on soon. He's supposed to be coming on any second now. And like that went on for like an hour. Mm-hmm. And Aiden was like just stalling, I guess, or cuz building the viewers type of stalling. But then he came on and it was just weird. I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. Either way, that's yeah. that's insane. Just everything involved in here is insane. Two million dollars, Playboy Cardi, Party, six minutes. Like, there's Ferrari. just so much shit that's just insane about yeah. this. Insane. I mean, shouts out to shouts out to Aiden, man. That shit is. He knows how yeah, to fucking get viewers, bro. I, I mean, mean and then crazy. right before that was the Twenty One Savage shit. Yep. With the yeah, the cards. The cards. And shit. He's just all over TikTok. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? He just clips are everywhere, dude. He got it going I'd on tip for it, sure. I tip it. All oh. right. Well. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I We were just told this was an hour long, and that blows my fucking mind. But thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next podcast. Peace. Peace.